Are you planning to change your hair color? Let me help you pick the best option. 1. Do you care about fashion and trends? A. No thanks, I never cared about fashion. B. Yes, I follow all the trends. C. I have a friend who consults me about them. D. Sometimes they pop up on social media so I know something. If you picked A, add 20 points to your score. If you went with B, it's worth 40 points. C brings you 10, and D, 30 points. Two, which of these color combos would you never wear? A, black and white. B, brown and blue. C, pink and green. D, yellow and gray. Option A brings you 30 points. B is worth 10 points. C brings you 40 points. And D is worth 20 points. 3. You're feeling down. What kind of movie can cheer you up? A. A silly comedy with a happy ending will do. B. Some good old black and white classics. C. An action-packed movie. D. I like cartoons. A brings you 10 points. B is worth 20. C is worth 30 points. D brings you 40 points. 4. You can get one superpower. What's it gonna be? A. I'd love to be invisible. B. Teleportation. C. Super strength. D. The power of convincing people to do anything I tell them. If option A is your choice, you get 10 points. Did you go with B? It's worth 20 points. C brings you 40 points. D is worth 30 points. If you had to eat one meal every day for a month, what would it be? A, pizza for life. B, some gourmet food like caviar or foie gras. C, fruits and veggies only. D, steaks, I'm a meat fan. Pizza fans get 20 points. Gourmet food lovers get 40 points. Fruits and veggies bring you 10 points. Steaks add 30 points to your basket. 6. When do you feel most productive? A. In the morning. B. After lunch. C. Anytime after coffee. D. In the evening and at night. If option A sounds like the way to go, give yourself 10 points. If B is your choice, you just scored 20 points. In case you went with C, it's worth 30 points. Finally, D gives you 40 points. What is your worst quality? A. I plan everything and get upset when things don't turn out my way. B. I'm too emotional and can cry over the smallest things. C. I'm jealous of the success of others. D. I don't know how to forgive others. A. Adds 10 points to your score. B. Is worth 20. And C. Is a 30-point option. D. Brings you 40 points. 8. Your friend invites you to go on a trip with them. It starts tomorrow. What do you say? A. Impossible! I need to know at least a month in advance. B. I'll think about it and maybe join them later. C. I'll convince them to move the trip one day and go with them. D. Sure thing, I'm packing already. If you chose A for this one, you get 10 points. B is worth 20 points. If you went with C, add 40 points to your score. And D is worth 30. 9. Why did you decide to dye your hair? A. To let everyone know I'm extraordinary. B. To change my life. I'm trying to overcome a breakup. C. To help others see that I'm a serious person. D. To spice things up. I've had my current hair color for years. If you picked option A, you just scored 10 points. If you chose option B, it's worth 30 points. 
C gives you 40 points, and D brings you 20 points. 10. What compliment would you be happiest to hear? A. You look really elegant. B. Are you a business guru? C. You're out of this world. D. You have the most beautiful smile. Option A adds 40 points to your basket. B gives you 30 points. C is worth 10. And D is worth 20 points. If a stylist messed up your hair, what would your reaction be? A. Say you love it, but cry at home. B. Start a massive fight with them to get a refund. C. Without saying anything, just go to some other place to get it fixed. D. Explain what's wrong and give the stylus a second chance. In case you chose option A, 10 points are going your way. B adds 20 points to your score. C is worth 30. And D is a 40-point option. 12. If you won a million dollars, what would you spend it on? A. I'll travel the world. B. A huge new house. C. Gifts for all my friends and family. D. I'll invest in my own business. A brings you 10 points. B is worth 30. C is worth 40 points. D brings you 20 points. You're starting your brand. What will your logo look like? A. A plane or a glow with some inspiring slogan. B. A unicorn and a rainbow. C. Just my initials to make it as business-like as possible. D. A star or a diamond. If you picked a star or a diamond, add 20 points to your score. A unicorn brings you 40 points. A logo with your initials is worth 10. And the globe gives you 30 points. 14. You're moving into a new house. What will you decorate first? A. The living room. B. My bedroom. C. The kitchen. D. I'll start a garden. Option A is worth 20 points. B adds 40 points to your basket. C brings you 30 points. D is worth 10 points. Dessert anyone? A. Yes, I'll go with a chocolate cake. B. Smoothie, please. C. Nah, I'm good. D. I'd like to have some ice cream. If you picked option A, you just earned 10 points. If you went with B, add 20 points to your basket. Those who chose C earned 40 points. D is worth 30 points. All right, it's time to do some math and sum up all your points. Did you get 160 points or less? Looks like you're pretty happy with your current hair color. Maybe it's not really the time to change it. You're well balanced and pretty happy with your life. If you want to change something, try adding a new color to your wardrobe or curling your hair. In case your final score is between 170 and 240 points, here's your sign to dye your hair blonde. You've always wanted to try it, right? You feel like it can make your life easier and more fun, so go for it! And a bob haircut will make you look even cooler. If you scored somewhere between 250 and 320 points, Bright red hair is what you need. It's definitely an attention grabber, and you want it at this point in your life. It will match your fiery personality and will justify all the crazy things you do in life. Try to add some layers to your hair, and maybe even bangs. In case your final score is 330 to 400 points, black is the color for you. You're refined, classy, and stylish. You're also smart and want to take a step up in your career. Black hair and a pixie haircut will help people take you more seriously. It will also give you the self-confidence you need to succeed. Did you get 410 to 480 points? Highlights are the perfect option for you. It's always hard for you to choose just one thing. You're afraid of missing out on something. Luckily, there's always room for compromise, even when it's your own hair. 
Try braiding it. It will look charming. If you came to the finish line with 490 to 550 points, the best choice for you is electric blue or pink. In fact, you can choose any color as long as it's exotic and bright. You're a creative soul and your everyday routine is making you sad. Add a contrasting hairband or huge clips to make the style even more unique. For those of you who ended up with 560 to 600 points, you're out of this world! Why settle on one color when you can have the entire rainbow on your hair? It sure takes a lot of courage, but you have it in you. As a bonus, you'll attract similar awesome people. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Hello there, coffee lovers. Imagine your first sip of freshly brewed beverage in the morning. Mmm, tastes like heaven. But have you ever wondered what your coffee preference says about you? Every day we shape our unique personalities with billions of big and tiny decisions. And multiple studies have revealed links between your choice of coffee and behavioral traits. So make your usual order and let's find out more about your personality. Cappuccino lovers. If you're into the classy cappuccino foam, you're probably a very creative, open, and motivated person. You have no problem with being the center of attention and easily get bored by detail. Also, cappuccino lovers tend to have sophisticated tastes. Speaking of which, Italians prefer drinking cappuccino only in the morning. This milky drink is considered as a separate meal, which is too heavy for the afternoon. Invented at the beginning of the 20th century, cappuccino succeeded to win hearts all over the world. It was originally named after Italian monks, cappuccini, which literally means hood in Italian. The color of the monks' robes was very similar to the mix of espresso and frothed milk. But today, cappuccino comes in a variety of flavors and colors, and if you like to try new toppings, your personality might be more adventurous than you think. Also, the study showed that people pleasers tend to add sugar, milk, or creamer to their coffee. So if you're always drowning in other people's needs and agendas, perhaps you should try switching to bold black coffee and see what happens. Black coffee lovers. No one knows exactly when coffee was first discovered, but one of the legends tells us about Kaldi, the goat herder from Ethiopia. In the 9th century, he discovered the potential of coffee beans by accident. He noticed that his goats became super energetic after eating the berries from a certain tree. Kaldi told his friends about those berries, and they prepared a dark black beverage known today as black coffee. As the years went by, we invented multiple recipes. But if you prefer your coffee black with no sugar, you're probably a very patient, straightforward, and conservative person. Your lifestyle can be called orderly and prudent. Others may perceive you as a reliable and loyal friend. Although black coffee drinkers usually seem quiet, they can be really willful at times. They tend to keep things simple and minimalistic and stay away from drama. It seems like there are no more organized people in this world, but they exist. Espresso lovers. Espresso lovers, they tend to be super confident and busy people. Many of them are hard workers with bossy energy. They don't like to waste time and inspire others to get the work done. If you prefer espresso, taking a moment to smell the roses is probably not your cup of tea, but your focus and efficiency can make you a great leader. Although such a determined lifestyle can be a little exhausting, you can be sure that all your dreams will come true just because you simply won't settle for less. And speaking of high standards, did you know that you can actually indicate the freshness of the coffee beans by eye? In a fresh espresso, the crema will last for at least three to five minutes before dispersing. Ristretto lovers. Ristretto means restricted in Italian, and it literally translates into the cup size, which is usually about the height of a thumb. This drink is a short shot of a more highly concentrated espresso coffee. It has a full-bodied, slightly sweet, and extremely strong flavor. And yeah, these rare persons who prefer this drink to others actually exist. Ristretto lovers tend to have unique and self-aware personalities, so they have zero need to show off because their authenticity attracts people's attention naturally. Latte lovers. The traditional latte contains one-third of espresso and two-thirds of steamed milk with a small layer of foam at the top. 
If this drink is your favorite, you tend to have a free-minded, calm, and polite personality. Some may call you a comfort seeker who would rather soothe the bitterness in conversation and sugarcoat things. According to the survey, latte lovers may have an overwhelming compulsion to be liked. It makes them very generous with their time when it comes to helping others, but they don't always take great care of themselves. Flat white lovers. Can you feel that sweet and creamy flavor in your mouth when you hear the phrase flat white? It contains less froth and milk than the latte. This results in a stronger drink with a smaller serving size. Customers who prefer this type of coffee tend to have peaceful personalities and not care too much about other people's opinions. Some of them might be quite family-oriented and caring. But if you frequently ask your barista to replace the dairy with an alternative milk, you might either be a risk taker or just a health conscious person. Iced coffee lovers. One curious study published by People claims that cold coffee lovers tend to spend more time scrolling Instagram, while hot coffee drinkers prefer spending time on Facebook. Does it sound true? If you're into iced coffee or frappuccino, along with all the yummy caramel and creamy toppings, your personality is likely to be very bright and vibrant. You're fearless, spontaneous, and always young at heart. It's okay for you to try new things and become a trendsetter for your friends. Some may call you reckless, but you just love to explore life. Your rich imagination and artistic point of view bring the holiday vibe wherever you go. By the way, statistics claim that 20% of the USA adult consumers prefer drinking iced coffee, which means every one of five is your soulmate. Mocha coffee lovers. Is mocha even coffee? Yes, it is. Although its recipe can be interpreted differently across the globe, in fact, it's a blend of cappuccino and a hot chocolate. Mocha contains espresso, warm milk, and a frothy top just like a cappuccino. But it also includes chocolate powder, syrup, or melted chocolate. So if you love mocha, feel free to peep at all the behavioral traits of cappuccino lovers. But also, milk chocolate fans are known for their friendly, agreeable, and romantic personalities. You value honesty and commitment. Another poll showed that around three-fourths of chocolate lovers tend to describe themselves as optimistic and shy. Meanwhile, the bulk of mint fans would rather call themselves thoughtful. Does it sound like you? Affogato lovers. Let's talk about affogato. This Italian dessert is basically a serving of vanilla ice cream with a steaming shot of espresso poured all over it. You can sip it slowly like a drink or eat it with a spoon like a dessert. The affogato can give you a boost of energy after dinner. That's why many of its fans are night owls. Also, they tend to have sweet and funny personalities. You may notice that affogato fans have the talent to balance the bitterness of reality with inspired action and jokes. They stay away from the mainstream and prefer doing things at their own pace. Decaf coffee lovers. Decaffeinated coffee, milk alternatives, and other specific orders reveal controlling perfectionists. Usually, they tend to make healthier choices in other areas of life, too. Of course, in some cases, the explanation is easier. People simply avoid dairy and reduce their caffeine intake because of health issues. The first successful decaffeination method was created by German coffee merchant Ludwig Roselius in around 1905. According to legend, the idea popped out when he received a shipment of coffee beans that was soaked in seawater. Roselius decided to test them before tossing and figured out that they had kept the same coffee taste and flavor, but the content of caffeine was lower. Filter Coffee Lovers The first coffee bag was invented in 1710 in France. They put a fabric bag with ground coffee in a teapot and poured it with boiling water. The drink was brewed until it had a strong flavor. This simple method is the ancestor of the modern drip coffee maker which is so popular in coffee shops nowadays. It takes a lot of time and patience to make the perfect cup of slowly brewed filter coffee. That's why this drink is popular among patient, sensible, and dependable persons. Friends come to such people for impartial, practical advice. So if you prefer filter coffee, you probably avoid reckless actions and always help others to get their life together. Instant Coffee Lovers Instant coffee was first patented in 1890 in New Zealand, and it gained global popularity pretty quickly. Today, some chefs even add it to pasta bolognese to balance the sauce flavor. 
According to the survey, instant coffee lovers tend to live for the moment, avoid long-term planning, prioritize their own happiness, and procrastinate more than other types. But don't feel bad for yourself. In many cases, laziness helps to see the bigger picture more clearly. Also, the preference for instant coffee can be explained by practical reasons. In some countries, it's more accessible and much cheaper. Have you ever wondered which country is the world coffee drinking champion? Any ideas? Finland. The annual coffee consumption in this country amounts to 26 pounds per person. It means that the average Finn drinks around four cups a day. They even have two official 10-minute coffee breaks during the working day. The average Norwegian drinks more than three cups of coffee a day, so Norway occupies the second place in this rating. Its coffee consumption reaches 22 pounds per year. There are multiple coffee shops in Norway, and unlike in the United States, they are primarily places to socialize, not to work or take the drink away. Guess who's the third? Iceland! Coffee has long been the most popular social drink in the country. If you ever go there, be aware that Icelanders have a tradition to offer any visitor a cup of coffee. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.